Yes, Skyler. Carbonated water, as you've never seen it before, in the manicured hands of the actress Scarlett Johansson. Like most actors, my real job is saving the world. It's her new starring role as the brand ambassador for SodaStream that's embroiled her in the swirl of Middle East politics and brought to an end her other ambassadorship with Oxfam. The SodaStream's factory in the occupied West Bank is at the centre of the dispute. It's located in an Israeli settlement, but staffed mainly by Palestinians with few other job opportunities. That's exploitation, according to Oxfam. In accepting her resignation, the charity said that businesses such as SodaStream that operate in settlements further the ongoing poverty and denial of rights of the Palestinian communities that it works to support. But the Israeli company describes its West Bank factory as a model for peace, which promotes coexistence between Palestinians and Israelis. We will not allow the sacrifice of our people, particularly the Palestinians, the 500 Palestinians that work at Mishore Dumim, we will not sacrifice them for some political cause of some activist group. These people depend on us for their livelihood. The Hollywood star in Kenya on a trip with a charity she's represented for eight years. It's very touching to, to uh, meet the people in the community and hear their stories. She said a fundamental difference of opinion was the reason behind the split. The charities increasingly rely on star power to raise awareness and money. But this is an argument where celebrity advocacy clashed with celebrity endorsements. Nick Bryant, BBC News, Washington.